For example, Ali and Bala have some number of marbles in a certain ratio. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I am Teacher Idam Rudi Jamari from YMS EduTech Learning Hub. Inshallah, we help students to improve in math and science by two grades in less than three months. In this video series of Know Your PSLE Math Heuristic Problems, I will be sharing with you the fourth concept that is external with unchanged quantity concept. Word problems that are categorized under this concept involve changes that take place externally. For example, Ali and Bala have some number of marbles in a certain ratio. Bala gave away some marbles to Chunsi, and Chunsi is an external party. The ratio of the number of Ali's marbles to Bala's marbles changed. However, the number of marbles Ali had did not change because he did not do any transfer to anybody. So this is what we call a problem involving external transfer with unchanged quantity. In this video, I'll be sharing with you how to solve external with unchanged quantity concept using the units method. If you're ready, let's take a look at the question. Let's read the question together. Sony has 60 fridge magnets. 40% of them are triangles and the rest are rhombuses. After he gave some triangle fridge magnets away, the percentage of triangle magnets dropped to 20%. How many triangle fridge magnets does Sony have in the end? First, we need to identify that this question is a before and after type of question. How do we know that? Because of the word gave, which shows that a change has taken place. So we're going to label before, change, after. This problem sum involves triangle and rhombus as rich magnets. So we're going to label T, R, and total. From the question, we know that there are 60 fridge magnets at first. And we're going to convert 40% into fraction that makes 40 out of 100 equivalent to 2 out of 5, which means at first there were 2 units of triangle magnets and 5 units in total. Hence, there were 3 units of rhombuses magnets. The question mentions that he gave some triangle fridge magnets away, so there was a change involved for the triangle magnets, which we do not know how many. And now we're going to convert 20% into fraction that makes 1 out of 5. And so in the end, there were 1 unit of triangle magnets, 5 units of the total. Hence, there were 4 units of rhombuses magnets left. There was no change involved to the rhombuses, which means the 3 units and the 4 units were referring to the same number of rhombuses magnets. Therefore, we need to find the first common multiple of 3 and 4, which is 12. So to get 12, we have to multiply 3 units by 4 and multiply the 4 units by 3. So that makes 12 units for both. We need to do the same to the remaining number of units. So for the first row, we're going to multiply by 4 throughout. So there were 8 units of triangle magnets at first and 20 units of total number of magnets at first. Multiply by 3 to the next row, which makes 3 units of triangle magnets in the end, 12 units of rhombuses magnets and 15 units in total in the end. So 20 units is equivalent to 60 magnets. One unit will be 60 divided by 20, which is 3 magnets. So the question wants to know how many triangle fridge magnets in the end. That is 3 units. So 3 units is equivalent to 3 multiplied by 3. That makes 9 triangle magnets left. If you find this video useful in helping you to solve external with unchanged quantity concept, like it, share it, and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. Inshallah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!